Indian equity markets ended the trading week with gains, the Nifty 50 gaining as much as half a percent or just about 100 points to end above the six, uh, 19,650 mark. The broader markets also gained with the mid cap index gaining about 0.6% and the small cap index ending higher by about 0.7%. The gains were led by royalty stocks that pack as a whole gaining about 3% or so. And there was also buying in IT as well as financial sector stocks. Now, if anything, the action was uh, dominated by the bond markets today because you saw the yield on the 10-year benchmark government bond spike quite sharply on account of certain uh, statements that were made during the monetary policy outcome announcement by the Reserve Bank of India. The governor speaking about the RBI's stance on liquidity and saying that they are open to conducting open market operations in order to suck out some of the liquidity from the system. Now, that obviously had a bearing on the bond yields, as I said, and 7.36% is what it hit in trade today. It gained the most in a year. Now, if you look at some of the top gainers on the Nifty 50, let's take a look. There were mostly gainers on the benchmark today, but the likes of Bajaj FinServ as well as Bajaj Finance led the gains. Titan also gained ground close to 3% at one point. Indusin Bank and Tata Consumer were the other uh, big gainers. Among the losers, you had HUL as well as Coal India, ONGC, Asian Paints and Bharti Airtel uh, that were among the handful of stocks that lost ground. A few other key mentions, I mentioned Bajaj Finance and it hit an all-time high in trade today because the board has approved uh, raising as much as 10,000 crore rupees. Uh, you also had the entire pack of Godrej stocks that uh, outperformed today. In fact, Godrej Industries ended with gains of about 20%. And that's because there is some news brewing or some information that hasn't yet hit the street, but there could be some sort of a settlement between the Godrej families that could be announced anytime soon. So Godrej properties as well as Godrej Agroet also gain ground. And finally, Kalyan Jewelers was up close to 10% because the revenue from its Indian business was up as much as 32% in the second quarter. All told, we're looking forward to the jobs data that comes out later today in the US, and that will likely shape the direction of global markets heading into the new week.